Double pipe or tube in tube type heat exchangers will look something like this. This is similar to the shell and tube heat exchanger because essentially we just have a tube which runs back and forth a number of times between an inlet and an outlet. This is surrounded by a shell which has another inlet and outlet. A metal frame will hold the unit in place. Typically, these will all be made from stainless steel. One fluid will flow through the tube and another will flow through the shell. The two fluids are separated by the tube wall and transfer thermal energy through this tube wall. The different configurations result in different temperature profiles and heat transfer. In this design, the bend at each end isn't utilized for heat transfer, and heat can be wasted here. However, manufacturing this heat exchanger is cheaper and obviously easier. Other designs like this hairpin type heat exchanger, which are often found in oil refineries, will encapsulate the bend to fully utilize the surface area for heat transfer. This version normally uses multiple tubes to maximize the surface area and thus increase the heat transfer, although this will also increase the resistance. These are a fairly simple heat exchanger design and are very common particularly in food processing as well as pharmaceutical production. For example, we might have a dairy product flowing through the tube and then we have hot water or maybe even steam flowing in the opposite direction through the shell which will warm the product up to a certain temperature before it is mixed with some other ingredients and then bottled. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about mechanical and thermal engineering, as this is the end of the video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.